So probably over the last few days, or maybe the last week or so, you and your family have gone to the sore and you have figured out that there are still holes in the supply chain, correct? One thing you have figured out is that everything is costing you a heck of a lot more money than what it just did even three or four months ago. And the prices are only gonna be continue to rise. You have the high inflation rate at what, over 9.1% just came out for June. The wholesale inflation rate is a record all time high at 11.1%. It's just getting crazy here, folks. Oh yes, get your gas prices and stuff are dropping and everything else. But why are we still having some of these shortages in the stores now? Beef and chicken, eggs, dairy, rice, wheat. Now a lot of this stuff has been blamed on Ukraine. A lot of this stuff is being blamed on the whole issue of the global food famine that is taking place. And you know all these massive shortages. This country is still wanting to send products out of here that we don't really have to give. Yes, we do have a stockpile, but you have countries like China, as you'll see in this chart I'm going to put up here in a second, they're hoarding a lot of their stuff, over 50%. They're not releasing a lot of their stuff. What do they know that we don't? Something's up somewhere for folks when China is hoarding over half of their products that they usually are shipping out to other countries. They're just not doing it. So these people have an insight on something that is taking place. And we need to be aware of this. Because folks, somebody is getting ready for something. Now, with the whole price index, all the prices and stuff are going to be going up even more. They're talking about a one point raise in the interest rate. It was a three quarters of a point. But because all these numbers come in so high, well, this, they're trying to figure out a way to get everything back in check. And it's not working. And the same token, you know, the government still states, nah, we're not in going into a recession. Are you people kidding me? Think about this. I mean, come on, folks. You know, I mean, the stock market has a good day, has a bad day, has a good day, has a bad day. It's been losing and losing and losing, and then it gains a little bit back. Investors are scared. A lot of the top analysts, a lot of the top bankers, and all these type of people are all saying that, hey, we're headed to a recession. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. So you're going to start to see a lot more stuff in the stores in the coming months that just aren't there. Now, yes, all these stores and everything are getting slammed with all the junk we don't need that they were supposed to get last year because all the containers and stuff are finally flowing through. But then again, all these big companies are having all these big sales to try to get you to buy all these different products that you don't need. Amazon just had their big, huge two-day sale. The report came out on that. And most people spent money on products they needed. This is something that they did note, Amazon did. A lot of the big like ticket items as far as like TVs, laptops, electronics, all that kind of stuff, it didn't sell as well. People were interested in things that they could put away. Some people are getting smart. They only bought what they needed. The average sale price of each individual order was around 20 bucks. That's what they said. So people are getting smart because these shortages, especially in the food industry, is really going to start to hurt everybody and the prices of the food are going to continue to rise to a point where 
you and me are not going to be able to afford a lot of different things. So I would highly suggest if you're in the mood to spend your money and to spend it wisely to vest in food, supplies that can get you through any type of a disaster that could occur at any given time. That could be anything from a hurricane, a flood, tornado, war. We don't know. We don't know what's going to take place. We don't know where this whole thing is going. All we do know is we have to be prepared. Preparedness is the name of the game, folks, at this point in time. And here, in the next few months, as these prices continue to rise, it's going to be very, very hard for you to put away anything for a rainy day. Because you're going to have all you can do to put something on the table for dinner for you and your family. You need to think about that now. Why maybe things are still a little cheaper than what they are going to be down the road. And try to be proactive in being prepared to have an emergency backup in case something happens. You want to make sure you're stockpiling dry goods, rice, beans, flour, sugar, all those type of things. You know, you can make your own pasta with flour, egg, oil, and salt. Four ingredients. And you can make your own homemade pasta. Because a lot of dry pastas in some stores are there or they're not there. It's not like they have a lot in their back rooms to keep some of these stores stocked to the hill, if you get what I'm saying. They'll put stuff out. But if you're not the early bird and you get out there in the morning and do your shopping, the chances of you getting something later in the day or in the evening are slim and none. So that's just something to remember, folks. A lot of these big stores, they do a lot of their major stocking overnight. You get there when they open in the morning and you get the first pickings. You get to get what you really want. You wait till later in the day and you're not going to be able to get the things you need for you and your family. So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I'd like to thank everybody for everything that you've done for this channel. Hit that like button. Share this video with your friends and family. And until next time, I'll catch you all on the flip side.